guys, it is Briar Trash here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So I'm finally done with my fall semester of college so I am ready to just try and do more YouTube again. It's been a crazy semester to say the least but it is finally over and I'm going to be making the effort to post once a week throughout my whole break until spring semester which starts mid-January. So I have a ton of video ideas that I'm really excited to make. So let's just start with this one. So I did this last year and it is the top five favorite models that I got of this year, this year being 2020. I ended up getting a lot more models than I expected to. I usually don't get models unless it's at Briarfest, but I just had more money lying around than I usually do. Not that I should be spending it, but if you guys don't know, I ended up staying home from um, college. Uh, so everything was online, which was not fun, but my entire campus was closed. But I was saving money by not having to spend close to $1,000 on horseback riding lessons for the whole year. Because um, that's really what I save my money to go and do while I'm at college. Not like normal college students spend their money on, but I got my priorities straight. So it was pretty hard to narrow it down to five horses to be considered my top five faves for the year of 2020. These are just purchases, not models that were gifted to me. Um, I'm filming this before Christmas, but I think I'm going to put it out the week before New Year's, uh, just so it's a little bit closer to 2021. Um, so just, I purchased this with my own money or it was a trade. So that's kind of how I narrowed it down a little bit, but I actually wasn't gifted that many models, so it didn't really help that much. But uh, yeah, let's just get started. So I did kind of narrow it down just to traditionals. So no stable maids or classics. I didn't get any classics this year, but if you guys don't know, I have gotten quite a few stable maids. If you haven't watched my um, getting seven, seven horses in like one week. See, I was going a little crazy. Um, so I'm going to give a little honorable mention to, can't tip over that conga, Jersey. Uh, this guy was kind of the guy that started my crazy walking thoroughbred conga. If you don't know, I absolutely love thoroughbreds and I just automatically fell in love with the mold. So here's little Jersey's honorable mention. Definitely my favorite stalemate I got. He's definitely my favorite horse in my conga of nine. Nine, including one custom. Uh, so I just need to give him a little shout out because he really did start the obsession. Okay, so now let's get started with my top five favorite traditional buys of this year. Most of them do actually come from Briar Frost 2020, but you guys will see that. Pretty much all of them actually, but um, we're gonna start off. This is kind of in no particular order, but it's kind of going from least favorite to fave. But I don't know, it was really, really hard narrowing it down, um, but you guys will see who I end up getting. So first up in spot number five, but I'm not gonna narrow them down and give them specific stops, but top five. Um, we have Spectrum. So if you guys haven't watched my unboxing of her, she was a big favorite of mine for 2020. I just love the rainbow pattern. She looks so nice next to Prism. I don't have her next to Prism on my shelves because I like having them in their congas, but she is just such a nicely done horse. I got a really nice one too. Um, not sure how she's going to do in the show ring just because decorators are really, really hard in the show ring because it's really based on rarity and she is just a brick and mortar horse but still really nice horse really love her so glad that i was able to get her at the briar selling price um so yeah this is my first of my top five okay so next up you guys might not even know that i have this horse if you haven't followed me on instagram at x6 fire track go check it out um i got bentley at the store special i ended up doing a trade for him uh, it was kind of like unexpected, but really excited that I was able to get him. If you guys watched my, what I like first impressions of the Briar Frost 2020 models, I wasn't planning on getting him just cause I thought that he looked so similar to Vahana over here. Uh, but taking a closer look at them, there's definitely a big difference and I'm happy I'm able to get them both kind of together. They are super, they look super cute together. I still guess Ava Han is my favorite out of the two, but this guy is just so nice. I got a super nice one 
and I was really ha happy that I was able to find somebody that wanted to trade with me um but yeah he is just such a little gem so happy and I do have my glossy cheesecake on the way I forgot to mention that I was actually gonna wait to film this until he ended up coming but Briar said that they're not gonna start shipping them until December 28th so I'm probably not going to get it until the New Year's anyway. So that will be its own unboxing. Um, and I actually unboxed this guy on my Instagram on live. Uh, so that's why I didn't end up posting a video here. But I was going to mention him in my cheesecake. But I was kind of thinking that cheesecake would end up coming sooner. But that didn't happen. So yeah, here's here's this guy. Okay, so going along with the Briar Press 2020 models, we have the Celebration Horse Reggie. Uh... I just love this horse. If you guys watch my Briarfest vlogs, I was just raving over him. I was one of the first few people to get him, which was super exciting. I live pretty close to where our headquarters, so I think that's kind of why I got mine so early, but it was such a nice surprise. And I got a really, really nice one. He's a little dusty. All my horses are. I really need to dust. Um, but I just, I really think he's one of my favorite celebration models, if not like my favorite out of like all the celebration models that I actually own. But I just got such a nice, nice dark one. I cannot talk. Um, like really, really nice shading on his head, and I just instantly fell in love with him. This guy's never leaving my collection. I do only have one of him. Usually, I like to keep a inbox one and then an out of box one for showing and stuff. But um, I just ended up getting one ticket because it wasn't in person. Uh, so I'm just really happy that I ended up with one. So that is spot number three in the top three, but not really because we're not giving them places. Okay, and the fourth horse we have in my top five is the Surprise Horse from this year, or one of them. Uh, if you guys don't know, Surprise Horses, they come in four to five variations. I think that there's only four this year, but um, I ended up purchasing, um, not from Briars, from a Facebook auction. Uh, this guy, girl, geez. Um, I got a pretty good deal on her, I think. Uh, I was really, it was so tough. I was literally bidding until the last minute to get her. Um, and I'm really happy I did. She's the Matt Palomino version. She has cute little spots on her tummy. Um, and yeah, I was just super excited to get one. I was really, really hoping that Briar didn't do this mold because I didn't get picked for um, it when like actually doing my ticket because it was kind of randomized. And I only had one shot because I only got one ticket, but I ended up being able to get her second hand. So that was really exciting. I really still love the Appaloosa. I'm still like kind of looking for her. Uh, I'll probably wait until next in-person Briarfest, hopefully see her at the Clarion and be able to snatch her up because I've been really loving her and her photos. Um, but yeah, this is the top four. Really pretty lady. Okay, and last but not least, I'm sure this comes as no surprise. We have Bridget and I'm blanking on the name, but it starts with a V2 and I literally looked it up before filming this so I wouldn't forget it, but I forgot it anyway. Uh, the Merit full set from Briarfest this year. Uh, so if you guys didn't watch my Briarfest haul, I really suggest you go do. It shows all the horses that I ended up getting from Briarfest because there are a few missing from here. But um, I got a mistake version. So let me put the little baby down and I could show off this beautiful mare who I'm just in love with. So as you can see, her pattern was flipped. So this side was supposed to be on her show side and her show sides was supposed to be on her not show side. So something happened when they were making it. Uh, I heard that there was other ones, but nobody ever sent me pictures, so I'm not really sure if that's true. Uh, so I just kind of got a funky one. I'm not really sure how much she's worth, how many mistakes were made in this run, um, but just a really cool horse to own. And I feel like I do really like when it's normal with the um, like more white shoulder, but this really shows off how nice her color is just like the depth of the different like chestnut um, coloring. I'm really happy I ended up getting her. I think it shows off the color so much nicer. Um, but again, do really still like the normal version. Uh, so yeah, I think I think I could easily say that this was my favorite favorite. Um, I've been lucky. Um, last bar fest, I got a one out of 10 model that I ended up selling just to pay for riding in school. 
but I'm gonna keep this girl probably forever honestly like it was just such like an exciting moment and I'm really curious to see how she's gonna show I'm not sure how I'm gonna document that just like an oopsie don't know what happened there uh, but she's super cool and her little son is quite adorable too I just love little pony full molds in general and this guy is super cute. I hope you guys like my little Santa hats that I have on my models. I ended up putting them a little later this year, but uh, finally got them on and I'm super excited for the holidays, even though this is probably gonna be posted after. So I hope you had a really good Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate and a really good new year. Really hope 2021 is the year and I'm really hoping for an in-person Briarfest. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you don't already. Follow me on Instagram at x6briartrot. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye.